Hey, what's up guys? See you boys. Firelight 2K7 back with a new Farming Simulator 19 video. I know guys, it has been forever since we played Farming Simulator 19 and it actually has been so long that so many of you guys don't even know that we played Farming Simulator 19. So welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. In today's video, we're going to be starting a brand new company. It's going to be kind of like a service company. So we're going to set up a shop. We're going to repair vehicles. We're going to do like roadside assistance. We're going to do like accident recovery towing transportating stuff like that and we may do odd jobs here and there like transporting stuff you know like a little bit of hot shot trucking like transporting stuff on pj trailers so it should be a lot of fun as you can see we have three of our trucks right here ready to go to the shop first off is going to be a ford f450 6.7 liter power stroke engine uh dual rear wheels there and the um back and um this probably has the best like package that i have personally seen so far in farming slender 19 this is absolutely amazing and also want to give a shout out to expendable modding group a lot of the mods that you guys are going to be seeing was featured on expendables modding page so definitely check them out they are on facebook and you can get all of these mods from um, that Facebook group now next we have a f-150 this is probably for like lighter service calls and stuff like that stuff where we don't have to like bring out a big you know like the big stuff basically but when we do have to bring out the big stuff or do like a little bit of recovery pull somebody out of ditch lift trucks up do truck repair we have this freight lighter now it's currently white but it kind of looks gray so I'm gonna see if we could try to like you know fix that probably later on and stuff like that and speaking on the color, I hasn't I haven't really figured out a shop color yet. So we're just going with the all white trucks for now. And then I guess um we'll probably switch it up if you guys give me any good recommendations for what color our trucks should be or if I should just keep them all white for now. Oh, it looks like we have some batteries and stuff up top. That's pretty cool. One of the coolest things about this truck though, it actually does have a working crane. So like you guys see I could actually move this around, I could extend it. We could actually pick vehicles up with it as well. So I'll show you guys that a little bit more once we get to the shop. But very, very cool mod here. Very, very cool. So we could practice picking up vehicles and stuff like that with this. So let's go ahead and grab this trailer really quickly. Kind of missed there. There we go. Okay, got it. Now the thing I do like about Farming Simulator, um, I don't do much farming, but I kind of like it because we could kind of bring our real life mod series to Farming Simulator. And what I mean by that is, you see how I could just easily pick up the trailer, I could put the ramps down, I could transport stuff. It's so many... Oh, I didn't even know we had those. That is lit. <laughs> that is cool right there. I didn't even mean to do that. Hold up. What button is the ramps here? I do not know. Let me bring up the help menu here. That is really cool though. Alright, so I'm trying to... Oh, there we go. Put the ramps down. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is taking all of the vehicles to our new shop. It's actually like literally like two seconds away. It's like right behind those trees over there. So we have a Chevy Duramax 2500. I'm just going to put this onto the uh, trailer really quickly. I don't even know if this could actually fit on this trailer, actually. <laughs> this trailer looks much smaller than I thought it was. <laughs> okay, yeah, this trailer is a little bit too, uh, too small for this truck here, but it's okay. We're just going, like, right down the road. So let's go ahead and bring those ramps up. And let's carefully try to get this Chevy across the road hopefully it doesn't fall I, I felt like the trailer was a little bit bigger but i guess it's not <laughs> so we're also on the uh what's the name of this map i feel like it's called canyon creek but i may be i may be wrong i think we're on the canyon creek map though um i will put it up on screen if i'm wrong but um i'll link everything down below in the video description as well so here's our new shop as you can see it's literally right next to the um dealership there so i guess that's kind of good so we have this nice driveway i have been working on this we did make a little bit of mistakes we're gonna try to clean it up a little bit like you guys can see the grass is kind of boxy there so we'll smooth that up but i kind of like how we could build a shop pretty much anywhere so as you can see we have this nice open parking lot uh, i kind of messed up the field over there so yeah don't mind that i'll try to fix that um hopefully before the next video um but here you can see is our shop 
So this is going to be where we're going to be bringing in our vehicles. And um, yeah, Expendables here. So shout out to Expendables Modding. They released this awesome truck shop on their website. And we're definitely going to go ahead and take a look at this. So cool thing about this, we actually could open up the doors. Let's see. We can open that. And then we can open these two. Uh, there we go. We gotta open it from the inside. We gotta be by the button. So let's open up all of the doors, figure out what we're gonna do with this shop. I'm gonna bring all the rest of the trucks over. I actually forgot to show you guys the rest of the trucks. Take a look at this. Look at that. That's a beautiful picture, too. I haven't tried that ramp truck, but maybe we should download that and bring it here. Let me know down below if you guys would like to see me use that ramp truck. Very beautiful shop here. Though. Lots of storage place, storage space, excuse me. Love how you can open up the doors. Oh, these work too, guys. Oh, somebody was drinking. Uh oh, somebody had a Budweiser. So yeah, we can actually put stuff on the um, lift here, and it also has a placeable here, so we can actually work on them, which is pretty cool. So we can work on them without taking them to the like the dealership shop, which is pretty cool. Oh, we can order some Domino's. We got Napa Auto Parts. We got Cool Light. Laptop, phone, very cool trash can there. Here's our tool, tool wall, extension cords. Dang, everybody in the in the shop is drinking today. It looks like. Looks like we have some firewood here. Let's head upstairs. Lots of parts. OEM parts from Caterpillar. Very nice shop, guys. Very, very nice. Shout out to Expendable Modding Group, though. They released some really awesome mods, and they're building an awesome community of, like, people. Look at this furnace here, too. I didn't even notice that to keep everything warmed up, so we could throw the firewood in there. It's going to open up this door. We'll open up this, too. Now, you could also pick up the uh, basketball, too. I'm so bad at picking up stuff in this game. Let me see if I could figure out how to do it. Okay, so we can play basketball. Let's try to throw it. Hey! Oh, miss. Alright guys, so we're gonna have to work on our jump shot a little bit. <laughs> oh, look at this picture right here. I can't wait. I hope this gets released here. Look at that. That's a, um, what is it? A Chevy Kodiak? 4500 probably. Look at that trailer too. It looks red. Very nice. Also got a, looks like a Silverado on it and a F maybe 350. Love these pictures. This is really nice. Take a look at this nice old Ford. These are really beautiful pictures too. Like, these are like these would be awesome as thumbnails for videos. <laughs> Doing some transporting, transporting some hay. That is really nice. All right. All right, guys. I was just about to head outside and I saw this light switch. Take a look at that. We can actually turn the lights on in the shop. That is very cool. I'll leave it off for now so just, you know, save on our energy bill and stuff like that. We have a lot of natural lighting in here, so we're fine. Uh, we do have a... Oh, yeah, we went up there already, right? Did we go up here? No, we didn't. Oh, lunch area. Very, very cool. All right, so I want to bring in the Silverado. I kind of want to work on the Silverado a bit. I'm going to take it over to the other side. And then we'll bring the service truck in and we'll park it in on this side and we'll go grab some more of the trucks. Oh, we can actually kind of go right through actually. Hold up. Alright. Yeah, I would love to see a rotator in game. I know there are some for um, Farming Simulator 17. So let's go ahead and pull right through. Let's uh, release the ramps here. Ramps coming down. 
we'll uh, hop out. I'll leave it running for now. And let's throw this up on the, uh, throw it up on, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> let's throw this up on the lift and let's see how it is. Do a little bit of work on this nice old Silverado here. This is really cool. This is awesome. Let's try to straighten it out a bit. Turn it off and let's try to lift it up. Here goes nothing. Whoa. And there it is, guys. So if we would like to repair it, we go right here and we can actually work on it. So that's pretty cool. So we'll leave that right there for now. It's going to get serviced. And let's get this to the front. Now, I'm going to put another shed here. I actually forgot to put a shed here. <laughs> so I'm going to bring out a shed for some of our, like, our other trucks and our trailers and stuff like that. So for now, I think I want to put the uh, trailers over here for now. I forgot to take a look at the interior of this. Oh, lagger. Got a little bit laggy right there. <laughs> oh, the mirrors work pretty well, too. You can actually see the trailer back there. All right, let's back it up. Alright guys, so we'll leave the trailer over there, and let's throw this in the shop for now. We want to make sure this thing stays well taken care of, so I'm just going to park it in the shop. Let's probably park it right over in this bay over here. Go ahead and turn the strobes off, and we'll put this thing to rest. This is a really beautiful truck. Alright, so this is going to be our main service truck, and we'll just park it up right here. And we'll go ahead and close that. All right, so let's uh, head back to the dealership over here. I guess we could just walk right across the grass since we're like right next door. Um, I want to bring one of the PJ trailers over. I don't know why I'm jumping. I'm like jumping for joy. All right, let's uh, grab one of these PJ trailers. That was actually pretty cool. PJ trailers, like the actual company, they left a comment on one of my GTA 5 videos. I was like, oh shoot. They were like nice um, video or something like that. So that was pretty cool to see actually. And I actually clicked on it. It was legit PJ's trailers. So shout out to PJ trailers. <laughs> Showing love on the video. So let's grab this F450 and let's see. I love the lights on this thing. Alright, so let's grab some more of these trucks. We have an F-350 flatbed. That looks pretty nice. Let's let out these ramps. Oh, we got the Dodge trucks over there, too. I almost forgot about those. So we have Chevy's Dodge, uh, Fords. There seem to be so many Ford mods for the game, I'm realizing. Do we want this one here? There's a dually. Yeah, might as well. I'm trying to think of which trucks do I want to bring. Then we have this single here. Let's bring this one. Uh, I kind of want to bring that other F1. Oh, we got to bring that too. Damn, we got so many trucks. Alright, let's see if we can load this onto the trailer. Beautiful interior in here too. I kind of want to fit another truck up here, but I don't know if we're going to be able to, guys. I don't think we're going to be able to. Let me try the F-150, see if it'll fit. We may fit, but we got to remember we got to fold up the ramps. I don't know if the ramps are going to be able to play or we're hitting the bumper there. All right, let's see what happens. This is this is a little bit unrealistic here. I wish I could manually put them up. Oh, we're popping willies. It's gonna push that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, that works. 
that works. Nothing fell off, so we're good to go. <laughs> All right, we got a little bump in the road right here. We gotta turn traffic on, actually. I think traffic is off. Let's turn traffic on when we get a chance. I gotta try to fix that drop there as well, but it's not too bad. Just a little noticeable. Alright, so let's bring some more of the trucks in. And uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna park all of these for now. Because we have a lot of equipment out here. <laughs> these birds just popped up out of nowhere. Alrighty, let's uh, hop out. Actually, let's put the ramps down first. All right, there we go. Now, if you guys are enjoying this uh, video so far, do me a favor. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. Also, leave some comments down below. And uh, let me know if you guys would like to see some more Farming Simulator 19 videos on the channel. And um, also, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. And turn on post notifications. We do do new videos every single day guys so make sure you guys um tune in and subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll never miss a video all right let's go ahead and back this up Get a little bit of lag spikes here and there too. Probably because we have so much stuff spawned and stuff. All right, let's go ahead and uh, park up this trailer next. See, so, yeah, I want to try to get like a shed and stuff just to you know protect the equipment while it's not in use. Oh, we gotta fix that there. <laughs> I was actually trying to get on the other side of the trailer, so I'm going to pull forward a bit here. Alright, so that should be good right there. Uh, let's go ahead and park this up. Oh, look how muddy this is getting, guys. We're going to have to clean the trucks. We're going to need to go buy a power washer and bring that over here. All right, we'll bring that tailgate up. We'll turn off the lights, and we'll head over to the other side. I love how just the tires got dirty there. That's pretty cool. Let's grab some more of our trucks. Oh, guys, I forgot to show you guys. We do have an enclosed trailer, too. Let's bring the enclosed next. Let's grab this F-350. Now, this enclosed trailer is pretty cool. I'm going to have to move the Ram trucks out the way. So, we have this nice second gen. And we also have this smaller PJ trailer over here as well. And let's move this big boy out the way. Alright, so this has manual um, uh, lifts there or ramps, which is pretty cool, so we can adjust it to wherever we need it. And we'll cut this off, and I want to really grab that enclosed trailer. So let's set this right up here. Turn that off. 
I'll bring the ramps up once we come back. So let's grab the enclosed now. Now the enclosed is really cool. And I'm going to show you guys why here in a moment. Let's hop into the flatbed. So, with this thing, I'm going to have to open up the menu because I don't know all the buttons. Oops. So, we could... Let's see. Oh, this is adjustable. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So, you could adjust that. You can open up the doors. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now, you have a small door here on the side that you go in through. And you also have a big door in the rear, the ramp. But I don't know if you guys noticed, it does have lights too. Take a look at that, guys. It has lights on the inside. So that's really cool. You can put whatever color you want. So you can do red, blue, green, I think purple. I just chose white to keep it nice and simple. But very, very nice truck there. So let's go ahead and hop back in. We'll close everything up. And uh, let's take this over. Now this also has the Expendables logo on the side as well, so it does match the shop, which is pretty nice. Oh, I knew I was cutting it close. That's why I was waiting. I was like, wait, I feel like I'm way too close on this side. You gotta swing this baby wide. So this is going to probably be one of our favorite trailers here. I kind of want to park it up front, too. So, uh, I'll, I'll park it over there for now. This truck is kind of loud, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Watch out, birds. Alright, so we'll leave that one right over there, and we'll park up our truck right over on this side. Alright, so let's go grab the next one. I think next we're going to bring the Dodge trucks over. Alright guys, so the last thing we got to bring over is this, uh, these two Ram trucks, and then this F. Uh, 350 with that last PJ trailer and then we're pretty much ready to roll so let's get this started up it's gonna roll those ramps up alrighty and let's head out now, if you guys have any ideas or suggestions that you guys would like me to do in a farming simulator video definitely let me know by uh, leaving a comment I was not expecting traffic there. Yeah, that second gen is nice. All right, let's turn into here. Uh, I gotta try to remember to use like my headlights, turn signals, and all of that cool stuff as well. I'll park this up over on this side. And just to make this easy, I'm just gonna park the trail out and then just unload it. We could drive on the grass over there, that's fine. Also guys, let me know which truck you guys would like me to use when we do our first delivery. I'm gonna leave space for that last PJ trailer too, the longer one. Alright, so I'll put that right over there. Oh, <laughs> let me unload it first. I'm here leaving. Oh, shit, I let the ramps all the way down. 
South Tato. Alright, let's, let's service this truck as well since this truck is a little bit older. Let's make sure it's serviced and ready to go. So we'll bring this one inside the shop. I actually thought there was another ramp in here. I think we only have one uh, lift, so we'll leave this over here for now. We'll work on both of the older trucks. Alright, we gotta keep those old trucks running. Go ahead and put this down for now. We'll close that door. Let's go grab the 3500 and then we'll go grab the 350. And I'll be the last truck that we have to bring here. Alright, so let's park this up over here. Whoa. I like this uh, radio I just noticed up here too. That kind of helps out with our service company <laughs> since we have like a radio. All right, so let's go grab the last truck. That was pretty cool, I was able to drop the tailgate. Some of the trucks you could drop the tailgate, some of them you can't, but that's always pretty cool. Alright, so let's bring this over. And we're pretty much ready to go, guys. I think we have the shop looking good. Let me know what you guys think about it again down below in the comment section. And I'm definitely looking forward to start using some of these trucks. I think I'm going to use the Freightliner first, though, because... I want to I want to mess around with like lifting up a truck and trying to, you know, recover it or something like that. So, I'm going to try to set up some type of scenario and then we'll try to do that. Hopefully tomorrow we could do something like that. So, let's park up this last PJ trailer. Now, we're going to have to get some more trailers though. Uh, we currently have what three goosenecks and one bumper pull, so we're definitely going to need some more trailers since we have so many trucks, you know. I mean, we have been closed, so I guess we'll see how it goes, but I just want to make sure that we're prepared. This thing is, like, sliding. Oh, the ramps are not up. Oh, my goodness. I was wondering why it was sliding all over the place. Silly me. My bad. Alrighty. And we'll park this one up right over here, let it out, bring up the tailgate, and we'll park the last truck over here. Was it there? No, oh, wait, no, 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 it was just that. Okay. We'll park this up over here. Now, I was watching some other people videos today. I did see some, there has been some new Chevys and stuff go out, uh, came out recently, so I'm going to try to download them. Um, I try to keep it you know, a mixture of everything. I know some people are diehard Ford fans, some people are diehard uh, Dodge Ram fans, some people are diehard Chevy fans. I try to appeal to everybody and try to do a little bit of everything. So I will be downloading some more like, you know, Chevys and Dodge trucks as well. I know we're like heavily Ford based right now, but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm going to get everything saved up. I'm going to do a little bit more work off camera. I'm going to set up the, um, dang, I should have put the trailers there because now I'm going to have to move the trailers to put the shed there. So maybe I'll wait and see. Maybe we'll put the shed up over the weekend, but I definitely want to bring out the service truck, guys. I need to get this truck on the road. This thing is awesome. So hope to see this in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.